let's re-record that intro because I wasn't rolling. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and this is the first time you're catching me, hey, I'm Chanel. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together, cause we're BFFs, and then I let you know what's going on in my little brain the whole time I'm watching these movies. Today's movie has been a long time coming. It is 2006's Idiocracy, woo! I don't know much of anything about this and I wanna keep it that way, okay? I know that like, no one saw it and then it became like a, I guess like a cult classic. Is it too young to be a cult classic? It's 2006. Like no one got it, but now people get it. And maybe Dax Shepard has talked about this movie a ton on his podcast and he's really proud of it. And he mentions kind of always being proud of it. Idiocracy means almost nothing to me. I'm thinking democracy, but idiocracy. So there's a bunch of dum-dums trying to make a, make a civilization, maybe. That's all I got. All I see is the cover photo and it's a man like Da Vinci status but holding like a video game remote, booze, and other remotes. So I'm thinking like, the only thing I can think of right now is man-child trope. You know, like that trope of like a man-child that we love so much. And I am very unfamiliar with Mike Judge. Mike Judge is a director. I see he's done Office Space, so I think we should definitely do that on the channel eventually. We'll get to it. And then director, producer, let's see what he's written. Cause like he hasn't directed much that I know. He's written a bunch of Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill and Silicon Valley. Yeah, I, I really don't want to drag this one out because I truly have no idea. I've glanced a little bit of the cast. I see Luke Wilson. I see Maya Rudolph, very funny. Terry Crews is going to be great. Dax Shepard, love him. And um, Justin Long. So yeah, it's going to be a funny, I'm hoping really funny movie. And I don't want to know anything else. So Patreon information description box below if you want to catch my full length reaction to this and all the other goodies I have over on the Patreon, go check that out. PO box information below if you want to send me something. And uh, we're doing lives. We're doing lives on the channel. It's looking like it's going to be the last Friday of every month, but um, we will take a vote. So head on over to my community page, vote on the polls. I would love to have you a part of it all. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is Idiocracy from 2006. Evolution was at a turning point and left the intelligent to become an endangered species. Having kids is such an important decision. It's not something you want to rush into, obviously. No way. <laughs> oh, I'm pregnant again! That just wouldn't make any sense. Come on over here! He don't care about you! Using comedic cross-cutting. Yo! Yes, my boy! Oh my god. <laughs> So the world has been populated by idiots, right? Unfortunately, Trevor passed away from a heart attack while- Oh my God. But I have some eggs frozen. So this, so this movie right ponders, home. says that only dumb people produce dumb, more dumb people. I don't know about that. <laughs> about to change the entire course of human history. Oh God, how? Luke Wilson. Could it what? Sitting on ass. No one ever comes in here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's perfect for me. No one bothers me. I can't screw up. Like every time Metzler says leave, follow, or get out of the way, I get out of the way. Yeah, when he says that, you're not supposed to choose get out of the way. It's supposed to embarrass you into leading or at least following. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not working. Frozen in their prime for use when they are needed most. Joe here is not one of our best men. I was like, yeah, what? Ours <laughs> was chosen primarily for how remarkably average he is. Like Joe, she has no immediate family. Rita agreed to participate in this ex- <laughs> Her face. She's like- A gentleman oh, who goes by the name Upgrade, which he spells thusly. No, no, no. With two Ds, as he says, for a- Upgrade. There was the difficult challenge of gaining his trust. I don't like when this man says pimp. Could we skip the technicals? <laughs> Jesus, Collins? <laughs> if successful, we believe humans can be stored indefinitely. I don't know about this. Do you think they're gonna be frozen? So uh, what do you do? Little of this, little of that. Wow. Who wants to know what I do? I don't gotta tell you. Must be great to be able to make a living doing something you love. Yeah, well, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> Get me out of here. Man, how do you know 
safe. These guys, they know what they're doing. Don't worry. They've tested it on dogs and everything. <laughs> safe. See you in a year. The human. Bye. Oh my God. The massive scandal that followed. The base was closed. The entire project was simply forgotten. Fuddruckers. Mm. Hopes that genetic engineering would correct. Butt-truckers. No. The greatest minds and resources were focused on conquering hair loss and prolonging erections. And exploded and intelligence continued to decline. <laughs> the events that would change the world forever. Creative. This is a really creative idea. Uh, it really scares me garbage. Like, where's it going? We're gonna run out of space. I guess they have like engineers on, on the scene, you know, but I, I'm scared. I don't like to think about stuff like that. As I'm closing my eyes at night, I don't wanna know where the garbage is going. I like to ignore problems like that. On next on the violence channel. Duck shock bird. I'll do Ow my balls. <laughs> Ow my balls. <laughs> where am I? Shut up, I told you already. Oh my God, it's a toilet. Joe was able to understand them, but when he spoke, he sounded pompous and f***y to them. <laughs> oh my god. Early 2000s, man. I love what movies like to do with the future. Like, it's my favorite. Very back to the future, right? All achy and I... Is this a hospital or? <laughs> what is it? Juice? I think this might be Gatorade or something. I was just looking for some regular water. Water? Yeah. You mean like in the toilet? What for? <laughs> this goes in your mouth. This one goes in your ear. This one goes in your butt. Oh Classic booty hole humor. This one. Give him the this butt one, one for the mouth. mouth. For waiting, Dr. Lexus will be with you shortly. March 3rd, 2505. Hey, how's that? Justin. Hey, Justin Long. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm serious here. <laughs> don't worry, Scrub. <laughs> Why don't you have this? This is my worst nightmare. God, you're not understandable. <laughs> <laughs> the economy was in a state of deep neglect. Also, this doesn't seem as low budget as I thought. People made it sound like it was really low budget. The number one movie in the country was called Ass. <laughs> Good movie. All it was for 90 minutes. <laughs> Butts. Please what? come back when you can afford oh, to make no, a purchase. No. I'm sorry you're having come trouble. Come on. Carl's Jr. Your kids are starving. Carl's Jr. believes no child should go That's hungry. That's good. You it's like it insults mother. you. Uh, listen, I can explain, okay? I was in an army experiment. There's the other pod from the army experiment. There was a girl, she was from the same experiment. We, we... I know, I'm like, show me Maya Rudolph. I want to see her. Put your hands together and give it up for <laughs> Rito Pendejo. You're my lawyer? Oh my god. Why'd you do that? Yeah, I'm not guilty. That's not what the other lawyer said. I mean, what the, listen, you gotta get me on the stand, okay? I can explain everything. We can. Why you think you've done it? Okay, number one, Your Honor. Just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> number one, just look at him. <laughs> this is how justice was served in my house with my siblings. Just look at her. She looks guilty. Judge should be like, guilty. Peace. There was um, a boy in my middle school class, I forget his name, and he was running for class president, and this was his speech. He was with a partner too. He was like, hey, my name's Michael. He goes, y'all know what that means. And then they dropped the mic and walked off and won. <laughs> it's not a good story. I object that he interrupted me while I was watching Ow My Balls! That is not- Ow My Balls, good show. Welcome to AOL Time Warner Taco Bell U.S. Government Long Distance. Please say the name of the person you- 
AOL Time Warner Taco Bell. <laughs> there are 9,726 listings for upgrade. Are you guys dying that it's 2505 with their still pay films? What the? <laughs> God damn shit changed in a year. What? Hauling ass getting paid. My last name is not sure. Oh, Thank you. No, not, I mean, not sure. My name is Joe is ba complete. Please wait while I tattoo your new identity on your arm. Classic, classic humor, baby. Who's on first? This is to figure out what your aptitude's good at and get you a jail job while you're being a particular individual in jail. Get you a jail job while you're being a particular individual in jail. <laughs> the writing man is killing me. To come up with the best escape plan he could think of. Um, I'm actually supposed to be getting out. You're in the wrong line, dumbass. Over there. I'm sorry, I am in <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever been smart enough to walk out. Are those Crocs? Network, keeping America baiting for 300 years. And now, <laughs> sweet bang to. Oh, you just. Go away, baiting! What's on his shirt? Like a bunch of brand names? A, a time machine for time travel. Do they have one? You gave me 30 billion, and the time machine is 20. What's the minus of 30 and 20? Uh, it's, uh, it's- I'm sitting here like doing the actual math. Not working out. <laughs> not working out for me. Man, can't do it. All right, let's go get my billions. <laughs> let's go get my billions. Cause you've been charging me by the hour and it's been like three days. Oh yeah, soon, baby, soon. Hey, you still on the clock? You, yeah, girl. <laughs> it's really working out for her. It's me, Joe, from, from the experiment. Get in the car, come on. Oh, yeah. What, where are we going? Just get in the car. I'm just thinking about how it's like such a cool world. I just didn't realize that this is how involved idiocracy was. I thought it was going to be a lot simpler. You are harboring a fugitive by the name of Not Sure. Please. Oh, my God. Look, how far is it? Can we just take a cab or something? Uber. Man, I could really go for a Starbucks, you know? Yeah, well. Same. Think we have time for a hand job, Joe. <laughs> what? I really don't think we have time for a hand job, did he say? Oh my god. Oh my god, Costco. Go get a rotisserie chicken. I can't wait to research about this cl the clothing. Like what is on the clothes? Like logos? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. I do love Costco. This is genius. I want to put a movie. I want to set a movie in Costco. Who has an idea? Let's collaborate. You get They get stuck in a Costco overnight. What happens? Silliness ensues, right? Starbucks. For men. Latte. Hot latte. <laughs> Full body latte. I'm dead. This is unreal. Okay, so I go back and I tell her not to do the experiment. She won't be here, then I won't have to come. This is all of us watching Back to the Future. What is this? Okay, sir. This is the White House. What are we doing at the... No, with the girls. The results of Joe's IQ test. White House looks good. Good above ground pool. You got the highest score in history. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. <laughs> I'm the Secretary of Energy. I'm the Secretary of State. You're so smart, why don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Guys, I just found myself in a Carl's Jr. for the first time ever last week, and that is a fact. I can't be the Secretary of the Interior. I don't even know what it is. You better fart that up. Hey, hey, yo, um, I gotta take care. <laughs> it's Terry Crews. <laughs> Thunder Camacho. Five no, time ultimate no, smackdown. No, with the wig. President of the United States had called a special summit. That's a good costume. That is a great costume. Somebody should be that. I love the medallions. Thought your hair would be bigger. Could look like a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you sworn in. <laughs> this is bonkers. I know Baron. With all that starving b and the dust storms, and we running out of french fries and burrito coverings. <laughs> He's got a higher IQ than any man alive. 
He's gonna fix everything. I feel like it's my secret dream that I take an IQ test and then I get a phone call and they're all like, you're a genius. Did you know this? Like that, like I have that fantasy. <laughs> it's never going to happen, but that's what I think is going to happen. Residential park. No jail time. <laughs> yeah. The president riding on a chopper right now. Excellent. Tell me how to get to the time machine. Oh, that's easy. Well, you go down by the museum and... So act smart. Smart like you. Oh, I gotta go to the time machine. I wanna go home. I don't talk like that. I don't talk like that. <laughs> I thought there was two of <laughs> See? I feel like mimicking will always get me. Like, eat it, eat it, eat it. like that's funny to me. <sighs> now, look, I also need help finding this girl named Rita, like, immediately. And she'd be an essential asset, you know? For our team, for us to utilize. Uh, <laughs> 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 You're gonna bring her here, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, buddy. Sure, Jan. Secretary, not sure. Say, would you guys mind if we had a little moment together? Alone? What are you guys the secretary of? I'm the secretary of ch chit chat. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> this is insane. What? Oh, God damn it. Oh, Way to my go, God, the map. You know what? Time machine. So don't worry, you're safe. And you know what? It's none of my business, but when we get back, you and Upgrade should seriously think about couples counseling, okay? And you should also think about maybe finding an art manager who's not also your boyfriend. <laughs> we go family style on her. Uh... Let's get back to work. Maybe later. Calling that family style. I can't. It's like Gatorade. Family style. Watering crops with a sports drink? Life had been deemed a threat to Brondo's profit margin. Do and sell anything they want. Not out of the realm of possibility, guys. You know? Doable. That you want us to put water on the crops like out the toilet but brando's got what plants crave it's got electrolytes brando's got what plants crave it's got electrolytes yeah it's got electrolytes yeah but why did they use them to make brando because brando's got electrolytes <laughs> good arguments joe ordered all crops to be switched to water no i mean how did the world ever get like this they're stuck here and they have to fall in love and repopulate the world with smart people. You know, you don't have to sleep on the floor if you don't want to. Besides, you know, I don't think Upgrade would be too happy about that. You in bed with a stranger? This is Upgrade's entire business plan for me. And the Brondo stock suddenly dropped to zero, leaving half the population unemployed. <laughs> he tried taking water from toilets. Not sure who finds himself in the toilet now. We now go live to Violence Channel correspondent Formica Davis at the Extreme Court with highlights. Formica Davis Extreme Court? Stop it. Thank you, Velveeta. Velveeta? The details of this are just too good. Rehabilitation? One night? Doesn't sound so bad. Not so bad, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, this is rehabilitation. By rehab officer Tylenol Jones. <laughs> Tylenol Jones. Beef Supreme himself might come out of retirement. Beef Supreme looks like somebody famous. Already a tough song, you know? Already a tough one to do. I'm real bummer about Joe, huh? <laughs> Her packing up. As if she's had, like, the greatest time ever. I get a truck too, right? Here it comes. This movie is for, like, big kids. This movie reminds me of, like, what Spy Kids did for me when I was 10. This is adult Spy Kids. The door won't shut. Oh my god. What is attached to the front of this car? Something rubber. Who's smart now? <laughs> I almost missed it. The water, it worked. You 
on to the rehabilitation place. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, someone someone just spitting the truth. You no fucking moron. <laughs> All I'm going to take away from this movie is that I really want a pair of Crocs. Like, I'll do anything for some orange Crocs right now. Thanks, Idiocracy. You've influenced me. Oh, that looked insane. That looked so wild. I cannot wait to replay that. And what the f*** is this? You want to make some money? I like money. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. I can't believe you like money, too. We should hang out. <laughs> I can't believe you like money, too. I just say something here? I can't believe I thought for a hot sec this was going to be a time travel movie. That got me excited, I got to admit. Do you really want to live in a world where you try to blow up the one person that's trying to help you? <laughs> I, I fell for it. I totally fell for that. I hook, line, and sinker. I'm an idiot. I went, uh-huh. <laughs> there we go. Finally get a camera on there. Yeah, I don't think so. And I love it. It was a total accident because, of course, the idiots wouldn't go film it. <sighs> I was like, ugh, don't shoot. <laughs> Somebody write this movie too. Like party at the White House when it's not the White House anymore. No one's ever done anything like that. I'm like so inspired. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought someone should look out for you too. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I stand these two. Rito, he's gonna give us a ride back to the time machine. I, I had some pretty bad habits back there that I don't want to fall into. Besides, they offered me a pretty good job at Starbucks here. I'm gonna be a CEO. Yeah. Yeah. You're still gonna paint though, right? Babe, I was never a painter, sweetie boy. Get your ass up here, wherever you is. <laughs> this is Terry Crews' greatest look I've ever seen. The wig, the costuming, it's 10 out of 10. It's the best I've ever seen. And he's worn some pretty cool costumes. My new my friend. You can't leave. Whatever happened to all that? Get out of the way, sh huh? You know what? Forget about the time machine. Yeah! I, I don't want to stay in this world at all. That ride sucks anyways. Ride? Welcome to the time machine. Charlie Chaplin and his evil Nazi regime. And trying to take over the world. No! So you, this thing? <laughs> you thought you could really travel through time, huh? Yeah, I guess I did. No! No! So why didn't you tell us? Because I like money. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't see this coming. Wouldn't have been any money. You know, because I can't go back in time and open a savings account. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about yeah. it. It's okay. I guess we're stuck here. <laughs> wow. Joe was elected the president of America. Wow. Elizondo Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho. Mountain Dew. The details, the details kill me. Movies that had stories, so you cared whose ass it was and why it was farting, and I believe- 10 out of 10 speech. I can't. This is dumb as fuck. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Joe and Rita had three children, and that's pretty good for an average guy. She's doing her art. Hmm. Great outfit, great outfit. Wow, wow, I cannot believe I watched that. <laughs> the discrepancy in, um, hmm, what am I gonna say here? Quality on the channel? We just, we just took a real big swing from my movie this morning, you guys, I can't. Give me a minute. Woo, Idiocracy from the year 2006. I have now seen it. Holy sh you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. That was a lot for me. I, what do I want to say about Idiocracy? I think that maybe uh, we overhyped it. Like it was really served up to me as like everything. Like this hidden gem, this indie hidden gem. And it was, it was weird. This movie was weird for me. The elements for me are funny and a, it's a very creative premise. Like 
to me, this premise deserves everything. It's like, yeah, these two end up in hibernation and they end up in the future and everyone's an idiot. Like, how fun? How fun? That's a really fun like premise for me. I wrote down all of like the specifics, like toilet water, and it was super clever. The details, the Starbucks, Starbucks being like a place for I don't know hand jobs or whatever. Like the my, I just kept writing down the details in this movie, like the little minute details, the, the everyone thinking that um like the Gatorade equivalent is gonna feed the plants because it has electrolytes. Like those like moronic details to me were so funny and fun, but like it doesn't add up to a movie that I'm obsessed with. Like it, it was just like fine. I mean, like I saw a lot of themes that made like a lot of sense to me and they really resonate with me. Like conglomerates, like the drink company owning everything and running people into the ground and like we're all dependent on them. and they bought over like everything really telling you know i feel like i like my satire to skewer in a, like a smarter way but like chanel this movie's literally called idiocracy so it was about a bunch of fucking morons and yeah that's where i stand like i like the pieces of this i don't know if i like what it adds up to right away i gotta see this budget i thought it was 10 million dollars oh my god it was 2.4 million dollars slow so at this point cgi had come a long way i guess they could make it happen and they made it happen i'm like annoyed at myself like i'm this is where i get disappointed in me i'm like why am i disappointed that i didn't love it oh the, oh my god how could i forget this movie to me is so strong with that twist ending because i really thought we were gonna go see a time machine i was like take me to the time machine like of course but um, I remember being like, if the population only got dumber, I don't think we got this time machine. And then that bomb drop of like, it's a ride and it was a ride the whole time. That made this movie for me. Like that reveal kind of saved it. And I do enjoy like the commentary of it all. Okay, let's move on to the trivia section. Let's see what they did. Okay, an ability to concerns, wow, ability. In addition to concerns about how to market the film, 20th Century Fox grew weary of the film's frequent harsh critiques of recognizable corporations. Yeah, I love that skewering. Skewer conglomerates, corporations, do it. The film's contract stipulated it had to receive a theatrical release. The studio met the terms of the contract but provided no marketing for the film, released it in an unusually small number of cinemas in select cities, and pulled the film in markets after one week. Oh, that's so sad. That's not fair. Oh my god, I knew Beef Supreme looked familiar. That was Andrew Wilson, brother of Luke Wilson. Okay, so those, those were all logos for present day businesses altered in the future. The exception was Fox News, which was the exact Fox News logo used at the time. We missed this. I missed this. When Joe's escaping from prison, he runs past a rusted out DeLorean. I'm so sorry for missing that. That's really rude of me. Oh, I loved the, this was another minute detail I loved. The characters named after present companies, Beef Supreme, Velveeta, Hank the Hangman, BMW. Uh, this movie only grossed 444,000. Let's go to the critic reviews. The critics freaking love this movie. The AV Club, 91. Good chance that judges' smartly lowbrow idiocracy will be mistaken for what it's satirizing, but good satire always runs the risk of being misunderestimated. This reminded me of like, there's this 30 Rock plotline where um, to make fun of the NBC Universal merger, they merge the, like, the fake network on 30 Rock and then they start having to push like microwaves on like their version of SNL. I love that kind of, like that was funny to me. I don't know, the idea that they're sustaining off of like Gatorade to me is, that's pretty funny. It like runs their life. I like to find, what I like to do is I like to find a critic review that kind of sums up how I feel. Okay, Austin Chronicle. The delivery and idiocracy is frequently flat, but its vision is dead on. That's a review I can usually get behind. And that's a 67. I'm excited to see Office Space because it says, Variety says a satire for its time. What Judge is less sure of here than in his previous perfectly pitched live action comedy Office Space is how to build a complete movie around his key ideas. Yeah, I feel like this movie was like a little bit incomplete for me. So. You've seen my reaction to Idiocracy from 2006, so definitely sound off below. I am beyond curious. Did you see this in 2006? Like, what did you think of this? Like, I gotta know. I feel like I might have even liked the satire better in 2006. Let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments below. Um, my full watch for this on my Patreon is in the description box below. Other ways to support the channel below. And, you know, of course, as always, guys, I'm gonna go eat dinner. What else would I be doing?